lady. Didn't your mother teach you any manners? Your words great my ears. A good child should be silent and stay out of bars. I told you I need to speak to the owner. It's important. He might know where my little sister is. A child in a bar is like a fish in a tree. You must search elsewhere. Oh, fine. If you're going to be a complete pighead about it, I'll go and ask the guards by the gate instead. <laughs> What do we have here? Well, are you going to tell me your name or not? Hmm, could be worse, I suppose. Listen, you and I need to talk, but my little sister is missing, so I have to go and find her first. I never thought I'd finally meet you in a place like this. It's funny how things work out.
Finally. I was wondering where you'd got to. We've got the place to ourselves, so we may as well enjoy it. We've earned a little break, wouldn't you say? Can't take it easy for too long, though. Sooner or later, those creeps are going to catch up with us. So, you've been scoping out the town, huh? See anything interesting? Come on, don't give me that. I can see by your face there's something you want to tell me. Ah, her? Yeah, she was sniffing around here too. She's way too young to be hanging around in bars though. I don't envy her having a kid sister to run around after. They have a habit of causing headaches. Did you just say something? Where are you? Where did you go? Uh, 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 huh? I, I, is that a g g You scared us there for a second. What are you doing in here? I was waiting in the end. You, you said you were going to take, take a bath, but, but you never came back. <laughs> Where did you go? Sounds like she's lost someone. This must be the girl whose big sister's looking for her. Why don't we see what we can do to help? How about you dry your eyes and tell us your name, kid? Uh, uh, I'm Connie. Nice to meet you, Connie. Why don't you come with us and we'll help you find whoever it is you're looking for. I'm have telling you, you I haven't seen your sister. Well, well, what do you know? Looks like she's picking fights with grown-ups again. <sighs> hmm. I wish they told me they only let complete pigheads live in this stupid town before I bothered coming here. <gasps> oh, it's you. Hey, kid, good news. We found your sister. Why so shy? 
Aren't you pleased to see your big sis? I don't know why you're looking so pleased with yourself. That's not my sister. I've never seen this girl before in my life. Huh? Uh, I don't have any brothers or sisters. I've lost my daddy. Gosh, where do I start? Did you not think of, I don't know, maybe asking her who she was looking for instead of jumping to idiotic conclusions? Listen, short stuff. I'm not going to let a little brat like you speak to me like that. <sighs> I hate to point this out, but you don't have time to be standing there getting your knickers in a twist. You've got a daddy to find. Listen, I want to talk to the owner of that bar, but I can't get in there on my own. Can I come with you? Thanks. I'll never get in there otherwise. I'm Veronica, by the way. Right, let's get going, shall we? Don't worry. You don't have to rely on these two dunderheads anymore. We'll find your daddy in no time. You'll see. Thank you. Kids these days, huh? No respect for their elders. Welcome to our inn, a safe haven in life's storm. Come and make merry. <gasps> Warnings unheeded, the fish returns to the tree. What can deter her? She's with us. Do you have a problem with that? Understanding doors. The fish has a chaperone. She is uh, welcome here. <clears throat> no one's sitting here, are they? Service, if you please. <sighs> a fearsome young pup. Perhaps tea will soften her. A fine, warming brew. That sounds lovely, but I don't have time for tea, I'm afraid. I'm looking for someone. I'll get straight to the point. There's a girl called Serena. Blonde hair, looks a lot like me. Have you seen her? Serena. Yes, now I recall. The young girl sought her sister, but left without joy. That'll be her. Did she say where she was going? Westward, she wandered. Sensing her sister, she said, guided by voices. Ah! Westward? Oh, the idiot must have gone to help me, and I was already back here! Oh. I was kidnapped, you see. I was in the bathhouse when some monsters attacked me. They took me off to their lair. I managed to escape. So I came back to find Serena, but it looks like now she's gone to try and rescue me. Right, you lot. You're no ordinary travelers. Anyone with eyes can see that. I don't have time to explain all the ins and outs of it right now, but I need you to help me go and find my sister. Are you in? I knew you wouldn't let me down. Are you leaving? I want to come with you. Sorry, you're staying put. But don't worry, I think I know where your dad might be. We'll find him for you, so be a good little girl till we get back. You do realize you're a little girl too, right? You sure you're going to be able to keep up? <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Veronica, sage of Arborea and mighty magician, can keep up with riffraff like you any day. I'm more worried about you slowing me down, if I'm completely honest. Right, let's head west, shall we? I'm pretty sure we'll find Serena in there somewhere. I know exactly 
exactly who you are, you know. Don't let me down.
else wants some. <laughs> Another one? It's one heck of a fountain to be hidden away down here. Oh. Wait, over there! <laughs> Serena, wake up! It's me, Veronica. Hmm? That's your sister? Serena! We said we'd always be there for each other, didn't we? Well... I'm here for you now, so pull yourself together! Oh, I'm ever so sorry. It's 
just I... Oh, well, I was so awfully tired after all that searching that I needed a nap and... Veronica! It, is that really you? What in the world has happened to you? But how did you know it was me? <laughs> We've been sisters a long time, you know. It would take a lot more than a new look to fool me. <laughs> oh yes, very funny. What were you doing lying on the ground like that? I... I thought you were... Well, that you were... You know... <sighs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the reunion, but didn't you tell us Serena was your kid sister? Well, if you want to get technical about it, actually we're twins. But we don't look the same age anymore because, well, it's all a bit complicated. I told you I was taken off by monsters, didn't I? They've been kidnapping people so they can steal their magical powers. Well, I wasn't going to let them have mine without putting up a fight. But the more I resisted, the younger I got. I don't quite understand it, but instead of draining my magic, they drain my... age. <sighs> what I'm basically saying is that I'm not a child, so stop treating me like one! Okay, we get it, we get it. You're not a kid. But you still look like one. Don't you want to do something about it? <laughs> of course I do. Why do you think I brought you here? I want you to help me clobber those stupid monsters and see if we can fix this. You will help us, won't you? I promise to do my bit as well. I have some really rather wonderful healing spells, you know. <laughs> 